Hi everyone please check Iraq latest news updates. The Prime Minister, Mr. Muhammad Shia al-Sudani, presided over the 42nd regular session of the Cabinet on Tuesday. At the meeting, the Cabinet agreed that Communications and Media Commission CMC will grant an exclusive three-year national license for 5G mobile technology to the Al Salam State Company, a subsidiary of the Ministry of Communications. And the Iraqi parliament announced on Thursday that it submitted an official protest note to the UNAMI Human Rights Office, describing the events in Gaza as crimes of genocide and referring it to the International Criminal Court. The Iraqi parliament mentioned in a statement that the Parliamentary Committee for Human Rights submitted the protest note and condemned the Israeli blatant attack on the Al-Mamdani hospital in the Gaza Strip. The step comes two days after Israeli airstrikes targeted the hospital in central Gaza, leaving at least 500 people dead, according to the health ministry in Gaza. Following the attack carried out by Hamas on October 7, Israel established a total blockade of the Gaza Strip and continued heartless bombing, pushing almost half of Gaza's two. 3 million population from their homes and leading to a humanitarian catastrophe as food, fuel, and water supplies are critically low. According to Palestinian sources, more than 3,000 people have been killed, mostly women and children, and over 12,500 have been injured because of Israel's assault on Gaza. Israeli officials said that 1,400 people have been killed and 3,500 have been injured in rocket launches and terror ACTS by Hamas. And the president of the Supreme Judicial Council, Fak Zayedin, discussed on Wednesday combating terrorism, money laundering and organized crime with the European Union EU, mission in Iraq. The Supreme Judicial Council mentioned in a statement that Zaidan received the new EU ambassador to Iraq, Thomas Seiler, and his accompanying delegation, where they talked about the support provided by the EU to the Supreme Judicial Council in combating terrorism, money laundering and organized crime. The U.S. Deputy Assistant Secretary for Iraq and Iran in the Bureau of Near Eastern Affairs, Victoria Taylor, confirmed last week Washington's support for the efforts of Prime Minister Mohammad Shia al-Sudani in combating corruption and improving the financial sector. We support the war waged by the Iraqi Prime Minister against corruption, which is an important goal and a common priority, Taylor explained. The head of the Federal Commission of Integrity, COI, Haider Hannan, confirmed in early October that an agreement has been reached with Russia to combat corruption and recover money smuggled abroad. A statement issued by the COI explained that Hannan received the Russian president's assistant, Igor Levitin, to review the memorandum of understanding that will be concluded between the COI and the Prosecutor General's Office of Russia, which is concerned with combating corruption. Hannan elaborated that the Memorandum of Understanding is part of the COI's interaction with the government's program to fight corruption and extradite wanted criminals. Levitin expressed Moscow's readiness to cooperate with Iraq in confronting corruption, prosecuting criminals, and extraditing those wanted by the Iraqi judiciary. And results are the foreign currency selling window, Thursday, October 19, 2023. Advertisement note 4987, the details the amount. Total amounts of transfers abroad transfers, credits 163,593,090. Total cash withdrawals 35,530,000. Total total sales 199,123,090. Note that. The selling price of documentary credits and international settlements for electronic cards is 1310 dinars per dollar. The selling price for transfer amounts abroad is 1310 dinars per dollar. The cash selling price is 1305 dinars per dollar. 
Thanks take care.